Hi, welcome to Flukatronic. Up now we're going to do an unboxing video for a new flute that I've got in. And I've had it for a couple of days and it's been dying to open it, but I um, wanted to catch the first impression. It's the first time I got a chance to film it, so you get the first impression along with me. All right, let's see what we got here. Whoa! <laughs> All right, so this is a very different kind of Native American style flute. First, let's uh, see how it sounds and then uh, we'll come back and talk about it. what that was <laughs> pretty cool harmonic there at the end wow all right so let's talk about this this is an epoxy resin low c i'll we'll check the tuning here in a moment <clears throat> sounds very well in tune to my ear um, this is um made of epoxy resin um as it's made by peter churcher uh, he has a fake he has a Facebook page called Willow Creek Woodcrafting. Is that right? Willow Creek Woodcraft. Uh, so you can contact him there if you want a special order. Uh, he also has a partnership currently with Johnny Lipford, and they have a line of these flutes, uh, not this low currently, but from about a high B down to about an F or so, E flat maybe even. Um, but they have a line of flutes that they're calling Radiance uh, that uh, Johnny tries to keep in stock there. So if you're looking for one of those stock offerings, um, that might be a, a way to go for you. So I contacted Peter about a low C. I saw one on, uh, on the Facebook page that was uh, kind of a deep purple color. And I asked him if he could do one that was more red with some white swirls. Um, White is um, pretty subtle. You can see some of that white streaking uh, going through there. Um, I sent him the, uh, the the shirt here as our uh, target color. Ended up um, a good bit darker, more towards the burgundy end of things, but uh, that's kind of the nature of this uh, resin material. I think you don't, you don't quite know what color you're going to end up with, and, and that's fine. It looks um. Looks very nice, um, very good tuning. You can see the uh, the holes here. This might might be hard to see, but you can tell um, Peter's gone through a uh, process of fine tuning these holes. You can see them kind of undercut in certain on certain ones. Um, they're also offset for the uh, third finger on each hand, so it's very comfortable. This is a low C. Um, let's take a look at, uh, compare it to some of my others. So this is a, a C from uh, Brad Young. Line up the holes. Line up the holes that are about the same, roughly. <laughs> um, and really the... Um, True sound hole lines up about the same. You kind of expect that. They're the same tuning. Now, obviously, this one uh, has a much longer slow air chamber than uh, the Willow Creek. By the way, this um, 
mouthpiece is cast into the resin, looks like. And I'm not sure how he does that. It, it, I don't think it's, actually, I don't think it's cast. It seems to be um, maybe glued into the, uh, onto the top there. So it doesn't come off, um, but you know, it, it's placed in the perfect spot. Uh, there's no no bird to have to mess with, <clears throat> so that's pretty cool. Um, let's do a quick quick listen between these two flutes. The resin is, is noticeably heavier, but not terribly so. It's, it's uh, still pretty comfortable weight and good balance. Upper octave is really nice. It just, um, that's very smooth and hits that third note you know, just great. Take some practice there. Um, definitely coming from any of the other notes, it, it goes straight there, trying to attack straight to that high C. Uh, doesn't want to attack it, so I'll have to work on that. Um, going straight to the C, but from any other notes, it goes straight there. So that's nice. And we get in some kind of that. Uh, funky upper harmonic there on the high C. I don't know what that note is. <laughs> that is a... Uh... To put that on the tuner. This is um, from a Ukraine maker. Um, I'll know I must mess his name up. Um, Konstantin Mira. Mitakaru, I think. <laughs> um, this is made of oak. This one also has a good bit of heft to it, as well as being a lot uh, thicker around. Um, offhand, I would say this is even just a little bit heavier. Um, hard to tell. Those both have some heft to them. Um, this one in hand kind of feels a little lighter, I think, just because of the, um, the size. It's not quite as, um, as big around. So first impressions are, are quite favorable. Um, it's a, might have a question about how is this uh, material, um, how it was going to sound or respond, but uh, it, it sounds good, responds very well. Um, tuning is spot on. Let's uh, take a listen to the tuner. So oftentimes out of the box, um, flutes will play flat for me. Uh, it just depends on Depends on the maker and kind of what their environment was when doing the tuning. Um, I usually play a little bit softer, not quite as much breath pressure as uh, many makers. So uh, it's always kind of a gamble um, what you're going to get compared to the flute to the tuner. So let's see what happens. So the top C is slightly flat, everything else is spot on.
And that's an A flat four or A flat. Yeah, A flat f must be five. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so that top note is just a little bit flat, about 20 cents flat, um, <clears throat> according to the tuner. That's about a 20 cent flat A flat, so it's like up a fourth from that, that top note. I don't know if that'll be useful, but that's kind of an interesting find. <laughs> Nice. I would describe the tone as not breathy at all. Um, pure, I guess, would be a good a good word. There's not a ton of uh, overtones like you hear in the um, four winds flute. So yeah, I like it. Um, mellow, pure, however you want to describe it. So, just kind of noodling around there, just trying to get a feel for the response. A very quick response. Can't. It's, it's kind of hard to make it misbehave uh, unless you blow too sharp or blow too hard on the, the very upper end. Um, so, great. Um, thanks, Peter. And uh, we'll be adding this to the, the rotation and coming up with some uh, cover songs or maybe original songs in the near future. Thanks. <laughs>